Welcome to English with Teacher. I'm Teacher. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you're having a great day. Before we start, I'd ask that you please like, share, and subscribe. This helps support the channel. Thank you to everyone who subscribed and watch my, watches my videos. It helps a lot and I do appreciate it. Also, if there's any questions, comments, suggestions, anything you'd like to say, please leave them in the comment section and I would be glad to interact with you. So today we will be doing some basic conversational English, uh, very practical and um, yes, so I would like for my co-host to introduce herself please. Hello teacher, hello everyone, I'm Anna from Vietnam. Thank you very much Anna. So, let's start out. Um, do you go out into nature very much? Yes, I do. I enjoy going out in nature. Um, how often do you go out in nature? I often uh, go out in nature um, on weekend. On the weekends? Yeah, on a weekend. Nice. Um, and what do you like most about being in nature? Um, I like um, uh, trees, um, trees and fresh air in the morning and um, also I enjoy the um, a sunset. Nice. Sunsets are nice. Yeah. Do you enjoy the quiet? Uh, yes, I enjoy the quiet as well. <laughs> um, is there anything you dislike about being out in nature? I um, dislike about um, uh, storm rain, rain a lot. Mm. Um, and what type of nature do you prefer? Mountains, lakes, rivers, being on the ocean? I prefer mountains and um, beach. Yes, beaches are nice. And you guys, I, um, you guys have some beautiful temples in the mountains. And some really nice, uh, the villages you can go and explore. And yeah, I want to explore the mountains when I come to Vietnam. Yes. <laughs> sure. um, so tell me about something that you, s tell me about a time that you went out in nature and saw something beautiful. Um. I shot. Uh, I went out in in the early morning. Um, enjoy the um, like um, the fresh air and uh, you, uh, last time I went to Vũng Tàu. Yeah, I uh where I go. I went out in the early morning and uh, work. Um, to the beach to see the sunrise. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Beach. Beach. Yeah. <laughs> beach. yeah. And uh, also climb the mountain. Mm. Have you ever heard of loon? Loon. Loon. L O O N. Uh. No, I'm heaven. Okay, you you need to look that up, Google it, the sound that they make. So, oh, yeah. my best okay. moment, I was fishing, the sun was going down, and a nice peaceful lake, and you could hear a loon, two loons on the lake, back and forth oh, yeah. calling to each other. Such a beautiful sound. Um. Yeah.
Do you think global warming is a problem? Global. Global warming. Uh, global warming? Yes. Um, um, let me say... Um, <laughs> Uh, I actually don't have any about us, but um, I think um, uh, it's about uh, uh, um, about the people um, the people action like um, we uh, um, we do the bad thing uh, with the in environment, and mm. uh, so it's my yeah it's a it's one of reasons must um, global warming. Hmm. I I think that it's a cycle thing, but I'm not sure that we have that much of an impact. That's my personal opinion on it. But <laughs> I'm against yeah. pollution like garbage in the ocean and smog and things like that. But there's a lot of things that people don't really take into account. But we won't get into that. Um. Do you think it's important for children to spend time outside? Yes, it's uh, important. And why? Children, yeah. And do the outside activities but help them mental health. Very nice. I also think that children being exposed to dirt helps them have a good immune system when they're adults. <laughs> I was raised on a farm. We had a lot of dirt, and I have a very good immune system. <laughs> um, do you think that the government should make cities have parks? Study, study have parks. Cities? So do you think that the say the Vietnamese government should tell a, a city like Ho Chi Minh City you have to have so many parks in your city you have to have so much green space in your city Yeah So you'd be in favor of the government telling the city that They try to do that. They try to do many things. Yeah. Um, to help people. Yeah, they try to do um, many things to help people. Help people what? Help people um um like um and not not really help people but then um support people to um. Do not um uh, like um move into the um, the countryside uh like not uh, like have the city and not route it like that because most of people um want to um want to live in uh, Ho Chi Minh City because um because of many um facility. Like uh, near the uh, near the harvest hall, uh, near the new university. Yeah. Yeah. It's very convenient. So you're but, saying uh, that the Vietnamese government's trying to encourage people to move out of Ho Chi Minh City to other uh, places. Uh, like um, the um, some place near Ho Chi Minh City. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay, that that's uh, that's actually a very interesting strategy. I like that strategy. Uh, but uh, what I'm talking about is, should Ho Chi Minh City be forced to have a certain amount of park space? Like parks for everyone in the city to enjoy. Do you think the government should tell them that they have to do that? Uh, not really. Um, yeah, not really forced. <laughs> but uh, just um, like encouraged. Encouraged, recommended. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I get that. Um, what um, responsibilities do you think uh, individuals have to help the environment? Mm, yeah, like um, protest. The environment by uh, in uh, every individual to have the um, and um, prevent um, forest destroying deforestation. They call it. Yeah. So so how can we prevent deforestation? Uh, like them. Um, the human uh, has to um, it, uh, issue um, strictly regulation and um, strong punishment. Yeah, that's we have we have a lot of forest in Canada, so that's not an issue here. Um, one of the biggest reasons for deforestation is avocados. Mm, yeah. You know, you know avocados. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, they, they they cut down a lot of forest to grow avocados. They're actually very bad for the environment. Yeah. <laughs> so that that's an interesting thing that a lot of people don't think about. But avocados are one of the big reasons that deforestation is happening right now in South America. Mm hmm. Um. What do you think, do you think different cultures have different views on nature? Um, different culture, I think um, it's not really about the different cultures, uh, like um, everyone, uh, most of, um, most of people, enjoy I think most of people enjoy the um, uh, rest air and lean um, environment um, so um, I think um, but, um, on the um, people at uh, another country like uh, like trees um, enjoy outdoor uh, enjoy nature like that. Okay. Just about the, yeah, it's about the eight, like uh, young people and uh, older people. See, as someone who was raised on a farm, yes. and, and I see the cycle of how things come from the land and then they get transformed into food and then how that food comes to people to eat, yeah. right? And also as someone who hunts and fishes and enjoys fishing, um, I see the cycle of nature to food and how we can interact with nature and get what we need from nature, but still in a way that's responsible and mm -hmm. allows nature to grow back what we take from it. Yeah. Yeah. There, the um, nature goes through a cycle of growing back everything that's taken from it as long as you don't take too much yeah <laughs> so the, there's responsible ways of doing everything and I think a lot of people lose that and they start to say oh we shouldn't do this we shouldn't do that 
without thinking, is there a way we can get what we need and still leave the environment the way we found it? Right? So I, I think that there's a, a compromise to be reached where we can get what we need and still allow the earth to rejuvenate everything that we take from it. <laughs> anyways, that's my perspective on things. Not that anybody asked, but I figured I'd tell you anyways. Because I'm the teacher and I'm yes. allowed to. <laughs> yes, that's nice. I agree with that. <laughs> okay, well thank you very much for participating today. I appreciate it a lot. And thank you everybody for watching till the end. I appreciate you a lot too. So please again, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. And everybody have a great day, and I will see you in the next video.